It's been a while since I've updated you all on my most recent project, this book that I've been working on. While I was shooting for this project, I made monthly update videos just to kind of share where my head was at and what I was shooting, but it's been a minute since I've shared after that process, after shooting all the pictures, what I've been doing in terms of getting it ready to be a book. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today, sort of what it's been like working on that, what I've done to kind of make progress, and also not work on the project as well. So big shout out to KEH Camera for sponsoring this video. We'll talk about them more in just a little bit, but let's talk about taking a break from your photography. So after I shot everything, developed all the film, scanned all the film, I just started working with everything like little puzzle pieces and kind of getting a feel for it, uh, actually spending time and sitting with the pictures. You know, I would kind of rearrange things, sit with that for a little bit, shuffle it all up and start over. And I kind of got to this point where I felt like I had spent so much time looking at everything and shuffling it all around a number of times. It's sort of like that thing where you say a word over and over or look at that word written out over and over. And the longer you say it and repeat it or the longer you look at it and read it, uh, it doesn't even seem like a real word anymore, if, if that makes sense, if you know what I'm talking about. I felt like I had been looking at these pictures by myself for so long, I hadn't really shared the work with anybody, and I'd shuffled it all around so much and just repeated that process over and over. I felt like I couldn't really be a judge of any of these pictures, or I couldn't make sense of what worked and what didn't, or if any of it worked at all. I went through this period of just thinking, I have wasted all of this time, all of this film and energy working on this thing, and none of it is worth anything. And uh, I think luckily for me, around this time was when summer started. So that meant, you know, we were with our kids 24-7. Pretty much the only time our kids are ever not with Molly and I is when they're at school. So when school is out, it's just all hands on deck. Any work or things I need to get done, that's all just pretty much put on the back burner. I think taking time away from everything, being able to revisit it later with fresh eyes was extremely helpful for me. Uh, I had just been so focused on this for so long and kind of had this pressure on myself that I was putting on myself not sharing the work with anybody it was all just you know the only input I had on this work was you know what I thought of it and you are without a doubt your own worst critic I know I am so uh, it wasn't really great input to work off of and thankfully I shared the work with some friends one of them being Aaron Harden uh, I've shared about Aaron before about his book the 13th spring here on the channel before and I'd been talking to Aaron kind of as I was working on this uh, I know he has a love for making books and sequencing and things like that. And uh, we had been talking for a while about the project and he was like, you know, if you ever want feedback or anything at all, I'd love to take a look at things and we can talk about it. And so I finally did. I sent the files over to Aaron and uh, I mean, the next morning he already had a sequence and had thoughts and ideas of his own. Um, we ended up talking on Zoom for like an hour just about the project and his sequencing and where he felt things worked and where they didn't. Uh, it was just insanely helpful. So I want to really take a moment to just kind of shine a light on Aaron because uh, he was extremely helpful for me in this process and getting some other feedback other than, you know, just from myself. It was a good reminder that, you know, as much as you feel like you know the work you're making or your own thoughts that you have or what you're trying to achieve, there's so much more that can be read from your pictures than what you're going to be able to see. Uh, other people are going to have their own way of interpreting things, their own thoughts, and uh, it's really, really important to get that kind of honest feedback, not just someone that's going to pat you on the back and say, good job, it looks great, uh, but someone who's willing to take the time that is necessary and to work with you on that. Uh, it was just insanely helpful, so I really want to thank Aaron for, for helping me with that. And while I don't have a final you know edit or sequence just yet, I'm still kind of uh, in that process. I'm getting closer for sure. Uh, but I've been talking with a printing company, a company that I think I will likely be printing the book with. They're sending over some sample books, uh, some different paper options, cover and finishing options, stuff like that. Uh, it's beginning to sort of like take shape a lot more. And so we're getting closer and I'm really excited about it. And I don't want to 
share who I'm printing with just yet because, again, it's not set in stone, so I don't want to misspeak if anything changes. Um, but when that does happen, I will for sure share all about the process and uh, who I'm printing with, what it looks like. Uh, it's not a print-on-demand kind of service, so everything will be, you know, printed, shipped here up front, and then I'll be shipping everything out myself, just like I did with a friend of mine, a uh, big fan of self-publishing. So decisions on size and paper type and finishes, uh, even title as well, it's all starting to take shape. Uh, the title of the book, I've wanted to keep so much of the book, just kind of keeping it all under wraps, basically. I wanted to wait until the book was actually finished and, you know, being ready to ship. Uh, but I think I'd like to share a little bit more about the book, the title, where that came from, some of the pictures in the book. So I guess if you don't want to see any of the pictures or know anything else about the project, uh, Thanks for watching this video, uh, but for those of you that do, if you do have some interest in the project, let's talk a little bit about the title, where that came from, and some of the pictures as well. Initially, when I started this project, I just wanted to make pictures of Chillicothe, where I've always lived, and uh, just sort of update my own view, my own perspective on Chillicothe, since it had changed so much since I shot all the pictures in Friend of Mine. And while I didn't want the book necessarily to be about the local history of Chillicothe, I wanted to use some of the local history to sort of guide me in some ways, if I could find anything, even if just, you know, a starting point, something to get the wheels going. The founder of Chillicothe, Nathaniel Massey, was a land surveyor from Virginia, and Chillicothe was the first capital of Ohio, and I was interested in the idea of someone coming from another state being a land surveyor. Uh, obviously, he was paying very close attention to the landscape here. And I started thinking about myself and, you know, what I do with a camera and how I like to make pictures especially pictures here in my hometown. It is very much a lot of just looking, looking closely at a lot of the most familiar things, and I wanted to make something different and something new, trying to see something new in a place that I've always known. And at the time of you know starting this project, going through a lot of big life changes from losing my mom, uh, finding out, you know, we were having another baby, moving and completely changing everything uh, from just our daily surroundings and, you know, the area of the county that we live in. The time in my life while I was making these pictures was just a whirlwind. And where I was at, sort of feeling lost in some ways, uh, I think that that really was a big part of me navigating what I was looking for, how I was shooting, and how I was feeling ultimately at the time. That's what led me to the title being Surveyor. I would say 99% of the time I'm making pictures, I'm by myself, and it's just a lot of wandering around and feeling like I'm making notes, little records with my camera. And I think it's taken me this kind of time, whether it be working on the project and time away from the project, to really kind of gain a better understanding of where I was at. Because in the moment, and you're very, very close to it, uh, I think there's a lot of things, at least for me personally, that I didn't catch on to even as I was doing it. There were times throughout that period where I felt very lost, sometimes just sort of like on autopilot without having any real conscious sense of the direction I was heading. I just tried to, you know, trust my gut, trust my eye in some ways. And the time evaluating things, especially sharing the work with someone else and talking about those thoughts and those feelings and where my head was at, uh, it's been extremely helpful for me to take that time and not just rush things. Ultimately, I guess through all of this and sharing all of this in this video, I want to encourage you to uh, take your time if you're working on something. Uh, it's very easy to fall into the mindset of thinking, Everything is happening so fast in the photography world and seeing what other photographers are doing and how that might influence you. Uh, it's very easy to feel like you have to constantly be producing something and you can't, you can't take your foot off the gas. And uh, for me, as hard as it is for me at times to do that and as uh, scary in some ways it is for me to do that, 
Um, it was definitely the right approach for me in this project because there were times where I felt like, you know what, I just want to be done with this. I just want to finish it and get it out of the way so I can work on something else because it's just, I'm putting too much pressure on it and I'm giving myself way too much anxiety over it. But the pictures will always be there and there will always be more pictures to make after that as well. So uh, taking the time for me was extremely helpful and getting that feedback from other people, sharing the work, understanding understanding that so much of the life in the work comes through when you're sharing it with other people. Photography for me has always been how I connect with things and often why I connect with things and people in my life. Trying to keep it all to myself and holding it all in, uh, I think it was doing, you know, a little bit more harm than good. So take time for whatever it is you're working on. Don't put too much pressure on yourself and find some people that you can talk to and share these things with. And uh, I know it helps me. I would assume it would probably help most people. And before we wrap up, I do want to thank our sponsor today, KEH Camera. They sponsored each video that I made on this project while I was shooting it. And without their support, I would not have been able to focus on this and give it the time it needed. So huge thanks for them and all of their support. KEH Camera has been buying, selling, and trading used photography gear for over four decades. A camera shop that's dedicated to helping photographers improve their craft while also promoting sustainability. Buying pre-owned gear and extending that life cycle of the gear, you're not only saving money, but you're also helping reduce the number of items that end up in landfills. Their inventory is huge, so you can shop for some of those ultra-rare items or even some of the most popular cameras and lenses today. You can shop knowing that this pre-owned gear from KEH has been thoroughly cleaned, tested, and graded before your purchase. Along with a free 180-day warranty and a 21-day return policy, you can shop with peace of mind. As a special offer for all of my viewers, KEH has provided exclusive discount codes and links for your first order and a bonus if you choose to sell your gear. Anytime you're shopping with KEH, be sure to use the links and codes down below. It goes a long way at supporting the channel at no extra cost to you. So thank you again to KEH Camera for sponsoring this video and supporting this channel. That's going to do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching this one. I would love to hear your thoughts on my thoughts, the pictures, everything discussed today. We'll keep the conversation going in the comments down below. As we get closer and closer to printing this book and making it a real thing, I will share all of the information as soon as it's ready. But like I said, not going to rush it. So thank you all again for watching this video. I love you very much, and I'll see you guys soon.